I apologize, it's been a month, but the Blink report is back. Black, pink, and area. What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick here, welcome back to the Blink Report episode 3. Uh, it's been about a month since I posted the last one, lots of stuff going on, uh, lots of different videos that were posted on this channel during that span of time, but now every Friday I want to go right back to posting the Blink Report because it's a ton of fun. I, I love being able to share a bunch of news uh, that's come out regarding Blackpink, so this is obviously your number one channel hopefully uh, to get Blackpink news I try to give you guys the the best news and the most uh, reasonable and reliable uh, news that I can get myself so if you're a blink like myself make sure to subscribe I'd love to have you guys here check out all my other reactions to Blackpink and other k-pop groups and I've just made a bunch of discussion videos regarding Blackpink as well including the blink report but I don't want to waste any more time I want to get right into uh, the brand new uh, news and stuff like that maybe stuff that I'm catching up on maybe stuff that you guys are catching up on as well but again if you are new here clicking the like button and subscribing helps a lot and comment down below what you guys want to see also blink mail uh, will return next week's where you guys send in questions and I talk about it on the show so make sure to comment those down below so that next week I will answer those but let's get into the first bit of news so the first bit of news here regards the entire group because Blackpink is dropping the uh, first full album um, for their Japan first full album. Uh, so obviously it is going to be all in Japanese. So the album is getting a re-release in Japanese, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, they've done this a lot for like their uh, concerts, uh, their tours, other things like that. So we're getting... Uh, some more Japanese content, which is really, really cool. I can't post full reactions to the songs, I don't believe, on YouTube. Um, but hopefully you guys will be streaming along with myself because we need to be listening to this. I'm sure it's going to be fire. It's basically like another album, but it's in another language. So that's that's really cool. Uh, so that release will be on August 3rd. So definitely something to look out for. Uh, more content. That's all we need. More content. They're slowly giving us different things uh, to be able to <laughs> for us to be able to hold on until they give us more, which will probably be a Lisa solo uh, and then another album. Maybe the Jisoo solo uh, will be at the end of this year the beginning of next year again getting ahead of ourself but this is a good start japanese first full album blackpink the album let's get that asap so regarding that in other albums and stuff like that i'm just showing you guys the screen right now on yg select or wherever you guys get albums i'm not sure uh, but right now you can uh, pre-order the japan version the japanese version of the album also you can see the rose uh, rose r photo book is there uh, the Blackpink 2021 The Show DVD and CD is also up for sale right now. So definitely a lot of really cool things. I, I'm not promoting um, YG Select or any specific website. I just pulled up the one that I think a lot of people use. Uh, but you guys can get the R photo book. You guys can get anything re regarding R because there's a bunch of merch out right now. Uh, the Japanese pre-order is out and uh, the Blackpink 2021 the show DVD is something that I'm probably going to try to get as well because I absolutely loved the show and the music that was on it. If you guys watched it, let me know down below. But it was incredible. I think the production and everything like that was done so, so well. So I want to be able to have this DVD probably will get it um, not right away because I think some of the stores around me will actually have it eventually maybe I can pick it up because we're still in lockdown here um, I live in Canada um, so definitely some some lockdown stuff going on over here but uh, I will be able to get that eventually if I can't I'm gonna have to order it online and I'm sure I'm gonna get it within the next couple months I'm sure uh, but yeah that's just a quick update on all the things that you guys can purchase right now definitely uh, a bunch of cool items that are available so make sure to go and grab that if you are a blink that wants to have uh, collectibles and merch in your collection all right something really cool another record-breaking moment for blackpink another group based news information on the screen you guys can see right now most subscribers for a band on youtube it is official in the guinness world records page uh, i definitely wanted to show you guys this so you guys can see it shows the official blackpink 60.3 million subscribers um, as of the 22nd of april blackpink now have 60.3 million followers which is probably more now uh, the k-pop quartet joined the platform on June 29th, 2016, 
um yeah it's it this is really cool also they have the rose um the other record that was broken basically it says the band's rose uh, is also the first artist to reach number one on a billboard global chart as a soloist and as part of a group so another really cool uh, little record there i believe we mentioned stuff like this on one of the other episodes i just wanted to show you guys the official page uh, and now I don't know if they're officially the most subscribed channel on YouTube in general, um, but they're they're probably pretty damn close in terms of music. So uh, that's pretty cool. I think they might have passed Justin Bieber. So we'll have to check in on that. Something that we can bring up on the next episode. But again, another really cool accomplishment for Blackpink. And I don't think anybody is surprised. This is something that I wasn't aware of how cool this was. Uh, and definitely something that needs to be talk, uh, talked about. Uh, Blackpink's Jisoo is set to be the first K-pop idol to feature on the cover of an Indian fashion magazine. That is insane. Definitely another uh, groundbreaking moment. Uh, Blackpink is definitely coming to our area. And what a win for K-pop in India. Really, really cool. Now, now, also, uh, Jisoo is on the cover of various magazines for L Hong Kong, L Singapore, and L Thailand. Um, so all the covers have come out for those. If you guys can see those, I'll probably be putting those on the screen. Uh, so really, really cool Jisoo being involved in all these different colors, uh, covers and breaking barriers. Uh, th th this is just another special moment. I'm sure Jisoo is aware of it. Definitely something that needs to be talked about, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's just really cool to see that they're getting recognition in other places and different magazines and, and stuff like that. And especially Jisoo, because she just works so hard. Um, and I think all four members of Blackpink will end up on the cover uh, of one of these magazines. They're, they're on all the L covers, so I'm sure um, the... the um, the L India magazine will probably end up having the four of them on there at some point, but just really cool to see Jisoo doing something really, really, really cool. Uh, another ground ba uh, breaking moment, barrier breaking moment uh, for Blackpink and specifically Jisoo for this story. Just moving on to Rose here briefly, another quick news update on how R and on the ground and gone and everything has been going. Rose just continually killing it uh, in terms of her solo. As you guys can see here, on the ground is now the fastest K-pop debut song to reach 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 70 million, 80 million, 90 million, and 100 million streams on Spotify's history. That's insane. That's that's big numbers. Um, on the ground is such a great song. I think it's very powerful. On the ground and gone both just have these insane like lyrics, these deep lyrics. I wanted to do like a deep dive um, on the R album. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to comment down below, like the video because. I've wanted to go back into Blackpink songs and Blackpink albums and, you know, solo albums and just do a deep dive uh, and really just try to give you guys as much content as possible um, without having to just pack it all into like episodes like this and, and you know, spread it out into different videos uh, because there's just so much that I that I think about these songs and these albums that I never really get to say because I just do, you know, first reactions. But I want to be able to sit down and actually do reviews of albums uh, and go back and talk to you guys about what songs I play the most and stuff like that. So um, get just getting back to Rose here, just just crazy. She did the 100 million in 71 days, apparently just mind blowing uh, numbers. And by the way, this came from uh, Blackpink News on um, Instagram. It just says Be Pink News, uh, so definitely go check them out if you don't follow them already. Uh, but thank you for the information and thank you for the post because this is just really cool to see Rose doing big numbers. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have definitely heard about these stories, like the Rose story um, and the, the Jisoo story, but this Jenny one, like this one seemed to have broken the internet when it came out and I wasn't filming a Blink report the week that this happened. Um, but Jenny is the face of the, hopefully I'm saying this right, Heron, Preston, uh, and Calvin Klein Drop 2 collection. Now, there was photos, there was videos, and everything posted about this just Again, Jenny just doing big things, Blackpink doing big things. Uh, so American artist and designer Heron Preston teamed up with American fashion house Calvin Klein for a spring 2021 collection called Drop 2 with Blackpink's Jenny debuting as the face of the latest ca campaign. So 
guys i don't know how many of you guys really follow fashion and different brands and stuff like that but calvin klein has been like literally one of the biggest brands since i can remember this is this is pretty significant uh and i think that uh jenny did such a great job i think the collection looks awesome i know when she was posting on instagram when these came out everybody was freaking out people were sending me this people that know i make videos that like <laughs> that don't even follow k-pop that much were sending me these photos and i'm like yeah like i seen it it's crazy like she's she's working with calvin klein she looked amazing the photos are amazing calvin klein does such a good job um but again jenny pulled it off i'm sure this collection probably sold out because whenever she wears something whenever blackpink wears anything the stuff just sells out immediately so that's the power that they have and uh yeah that's why these brands like to team up with them because they're positive they're influential uh and they can help them sell and uh blackpink you know they probably let's be honest they probably get paid for it too and that's a great thing they should because they're promoting the hell out of these brands they, they definitely need to get that money coming in they're booked and they're busy man so definitely really cool to see jenny working with calvin klein the last bit of news here for the blink report episode three is about lisa i wanted to get at least one little thing for each member in this week and then we're going to be back to a longer episode next week even though this one's actually probably going to be pretty long i think it's going to be like 12 13 minutes but this is big news we talked about it on the last episode that we thought that there could be a Lisa solo in June. But I was predicting more at the end of the summer. I'm thinking August, maybe into September, start of the fall. But DJ Snake was posting a little bit of some, like a little clips. Now, we're not really sure if it's official or what's going on, but DJ Snake posted stuff on his Instagram. Um, he was he was he posted like a little snippet. I can't play it here just in case there are some huge copyright laws with this snippet just in case something comes out. But DJ Snake is obviously insanely popular. If you guys have never heard of him, which I'm sure you have, just go look up the numbers that he puts up. He does great collaborations. He's been um, a part of the music industry for quite some time. He's worked with the biggest artists like he's worked with Selena Gomez. He's worked with everybody. So this would be amazing and this has been rumored for a long time it, it probably the rumors probably started when she uh when lisa danced to talkie talkie i believe um that's the selena gomez and cardi b song i believe but dj snake was a part of that song uh he was the one that produced it and put it all together uh so in this clip like there's a snippet of um lyrics that say all night with you people are saying is it is it lisa who is it what is it all I know is, is that there's been some like tweets put out that DJ Snake had to delete because he was talking about working with her. This is probably them going, okay, we need to hide a little bit more information here because this could be a massive collab that comes out. And uh, it looks like if there's going to be a solo album and there's two songs on there, this has to be one of them. If it isn't, then something would have fell apart because it seems like both of them have um, talked about it. Well, mostly DJ Snake, uh, but there's been a lot of rumors coming out and this could be a massive collaboration. And listen, this would be something that gets played on the radio quite frequently because DJ Snake has collaborated with a lot of artists from different countries that, you know, they rap or they sing in different languages. Even though I've said it so many times, why isn't k-pop music just played all the time on the radio it's the most popular music it's so good people are missing out i hope that more music gets played on these radio stations but again that's another video another episode another thing we can talk about that another time but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the blink report this is number three um oh wow this i'm just checking out the time this one's probably going to be around 14 to 15 minutes uh, make sure to let me know down below uh, what you guys want to see uh, just for the videos here on the for my channel or the blink report make sure to send in your blink mail with questions um, that I can answer on the next edition um, of the blink report which will be next Friday because I need to be posting every single Friday for the blink report because it's fun I love doing these types of videos it does take a long time for me to edit, but I do love making these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, make sure to like this and subscribe. I think I went with the outro like again last week. I'm Jisoo. I'm okay. I think I did that. So let's just roll with that. I'm Jisoo. I'm okay. Peace.